Hey, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If this is your first time here, please consider clicking subscribe and click that little bell notification icon so you will be notified when I release a new uh, tips, tricks, or tutorial video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much. So what we are going to talk about tonight is everything you know about subnetting is wrong. Well, maybe not everything, but I want to talk about a... A common, it's actually not even common. So something that I came across a few years ago, when we talk about subnetting, if you know how you come up with a subnet mask, right? So a subnet mask of 255, 255, 255.0, right? Means that uh, all of these bits are flipped here. All of these bits are flipped here. All of these bits are flipped here, but here none are flipped. So this is the uh, network and this is the host. So this would be what we consider like a traditional class C or 254 usable IPs. Now 254, that's the key word that we are going to concentrate on here because traditional teaching is gonna tell us that um, this class C gives us 254. Why does it give us 254? Well, because in when we teach subnetting to people, we tell them that you cannot use the first address and you cannot use the last address. We tell us, I, I tell people that, right? When I'm teaching other instructors tell people that because that dot zero address is the network number. And the dot 255, because remember, we start from zero, that is our broadcast. Okay, so the dot zero is the network identifier, the network number, and the 255, that is our broadcast. So we, we cannot use those. But what about if you are just creating point-to-point -point links, okay? And do you think a point-to-point -point link needs a, a broadcast? I don't think so. It's just two devices, right? And a point-to-point, -point, point A, point B. So usually in a point-to-point, -point, we would use a slash 30 or 255.255.255.252. A slash 30 actually gives us, this 252 gives us four usable addresses, right? Or gives us four addresses, but we can't use the first or the last, right? That's what we're saying because this is the network number and this is the broadcast. However, what do you think would happen if instead of using a slash 30, because we don't need a broadcast, we don't need a broadcast on a WAN point-to-point -point link, what, what do you think would happen if we used a slash 31? So a slash 32 is a single address. Slash 31 should be two addresses, right? What's this look like um, in binary, right? So the first thing, it's going to be 255, 255, 255. That's going to be the first um, 24. And then we've got to turn on all those bits except for one. So it's going to be, let's see, so there's going to be, there's eight positions, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it starts... Um, down here goes 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So if it's slash 31, so that's 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So that's going to be a dot 254 subnet. Is my math right on that? 
But anyway, that's going to give us two addresses. Do you think it'll work? I don't know. Do you think it'll work? That's why we're doing this. We're going to go, we're going to go over to an edge router and uh, we're going to try it and we're going to see what happens. My prediction is that we're going to be able to put the slash 31 in there for a point to point link. So I'm going to erase all this and we're actually going to grab, we're going to grab a couple of, uh, a couple of edge routers because we'll want, we'll want two edge routers so we can do a point to point, but, uh, let's get everything. We'll get a couple of routers and we'll get this, uh, we'll get this fired up and we'll see if it works. Stay tuned. All right. So you can see here, I have an edge router. I factory defaulted it and I did not run the wizard, right? So there's no firewall rules. There's no NAT. There's nothing like that. So I'm, I'm connected right to ETH zero. Like uh, when you set these up from scratch. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here on ETH one and I'm going to go to config and I'm going to call this test and we're going to do a manually defined IP address and we're going to do, let's do 10.0.0.0 slash 31. And look at that. It took it. So now what we need to do is we need to get another edge router and we need to uh, plug it in, give it 10.0.0.1 slash 31 and make sure that this thing's really going to work. All right, so here is our edge point. We're going to use this as the other router. So what I'm going to come come in here and do is I'm going to go to ETH1. I'm going to go in here to config. We're going to do a test. We're going to do 10.0.0.1 slash 31. And we're going to save that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cable. I'm going to put a cable between those ports on the routers. Button is, yep, we should get a link light. That's good. All right, so we're going to bring up the command line here. And we're going to ping 10.0.0.0. And guess what? We can ping it because we are in the same network. So we are just using those two addresses. We're not using four addresses. So we just proved that a slash 31 instead of a slash 30 uh, will work for your, at least for your WAN links. All right, so that is it for this video. Get a couple uh, routers in your lab, try that out, and let me know what you think. If you wanna see a full subnet primer, put that down in the comments. I wanna thank you for being here. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com. Fill out that contact form. Someone will be with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. That's our promise to you. If you'd like to talk to us on Discord, the link is down below. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon, and thank you to those folks. That link is down below as well as our Amazon link and all of our other affiliate links are down there. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks to the channel to keep this stuff rolling in. Once again, I want to thank each and every one of you. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.